Hello. You know, when you're watching a film or a TV show and you see a costume and you're just like, wow, that's amazing. And then you start obsessing about it and you make a Pinterest board and you just can't get it out of your brain. I love that story. You're crazy. I know you are, but what am I? You're a nerd. I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Infinity. So yeah, I became a little obsessed with the dress from Pee Wee's Big Adventure that Elizabeth Daly wears. Um, at sort of the end, it's for 30 seconds, like when Pee Wee gets his bike back, that's the dress I became obsessed with. There's not a lot of pictures of it because it's in the movie for 30 seconds, but it's amazing and I really wanted to recreate it. So I went down a rabbit hole and I couldn't find much about it. Aggie Gerard Rogers designed the costumes for Pee Wee's Big Adventure along with some other freaking kick-ass movies. So Beetlejuice, uh, Benny and June, Return of the Jedi, and The Color Purple, which are all fabulous and some of my favorite costume movies like of all time. Crazy. This movie came out in 1985. I remember loving the dress back when I watched it for the first time, second time, third time. It's one of my all-time quotable favorite movies. <laughs> Me and my husband do quote it back and forth quite a bit to this very day. Um, I'm not sure if I'm proud of that fact or embarrassed, but it's it's a fact. Anyways, let's get to making the dress. Let's do some vintage sewing. So this is the dress we're gonna make here on the channel today. Okay, so here's my fabric choices. A lovely, really wide uh, pink seersucker that I picked up at an estate sale and this is the reason I'm making this dress. And then I have a black shantung, which is this deep dark color. It has a little bit of sheen, which I thought would be nice for all the accents. Um, this hip detail is pretty popular in the 1950s. I have a couple patterns that show like this lower hip pointed detail. So I was not able to find out if this was a vintage dress that they used or a dress that they made to look vintage. Um, if someone knows, Please put it in the comments below. I would love to find out. So what I have done is I've used my uh, sloper, which has been taken from a 1950s book. And if you are interested in me showing you guys how to make a sloper from your measurements, let me know in the comments. So this is what I have basically done. I've split, you can see where I've made um, the princess seams. I have lowered the arm's eye and then changed the neckline so it is the V, like this um, original dress. And then kind of uh, really fit the waist a little bit different. So this extends over here and we have less, just sort of shifted where that dark placement was for our design lines. And then same for the back, changed that back neckline, lowered the arm's eye, Mess with the dart a little bit and then the points because this is not enough as I was looking at the original dress better. I finally just watched the movie because anything, any pictures I found, I couldn't get a really great close up of the, um, the hip detail and how many there were. So I watched the film. I've taken some screenshots and I'll show you those. All right. So this is what I have done. Get these out of the way. So I have my front and my side. I have about two and a half inches in between these points, these top points, the apexes of like the little ship, the little ziggy zaggy. And then there's three inches in between those points. So here and here. And I'm trying to get this one to match at the waist seam or at the side seam, excuse me. Um, and then there's an inch and a half like dimension at the top. So inch and a half sort of there to find this point. Okay, so I'm gonna try to replicate this on the back. And I So uh, while you watch this in quick time, I wanted to talk a little bit about the hip ratio that my hips are going to be different than Dottie's in the film. So I'm trying to make it look as close to that dress as possible with my measurements. And this is what I came up with. I'm pretty happy with it in the end. And then I'm gonna make little pattern pieces for that black applique that are gonna go um, 
on top. Now because I have vintage fabric and only so much, I have to plan out how big my skirt panels can be and how many I can fit on the width of the fabric. And this is what I came up with. Now they are about 20 inches wide at the bottom and about 25 inches long. Now that the pattern is all done, I'm gonna cut it out. I don't put seam allowances on my pattern, so I'm going to have to trace uh, what my, I want my seam allowances to be and then cut it out. Time for stitching all these pieces together. Ah! I'm gonna sew my front zigzags together and my back zigzags together and my uh, princess seams together. I have my little zigzaggies sewn together, stay stitched better from that side at three uh three eighths because I have a half inch seam allowance so that's gonna so I'm gonna end up folding and pressing this edge down with like that sixteenth so I'm pressing it at a half inch clip right down to that stitch and I'm gonna do this to each of my pieces All right, so I got her on the dress form. It's looking pretty good. This point is a little high, I think. Just like I ever, like a skosh. So I think I'm gonna rip this guy out and then just lower this point. And then I'm gonna put the lining in so it'll finish off the neck and the arms eye. All right, I have the lining in. It is understitched. Excuse my gross nails. Here I'm just stitching the side seams together, making sure that I line up all of these important black appliques. I overlocked the center back seam and the chevrons. All right, starting to sew the skirt panels together. So I have my center back section, which is only open about three inches for the zipper and then they're just gonna keep on going around um until i get all of them sewn together so i'll meet you back in a few and stitching and stitching yeah. no it's a little crazy <laughs> All right, I have it all together. I, I lived through the process. I was a lot of up and down and up and down and panels in the skirt. I kind of thought I was never gonna finish, but I did. So now it's time for the hem and the zipper and this puppy's done and then we'll do the reveal. Woo! <laughs> Here she is, all beautifully finished. I love it. Going into my regular rotation. I did forget to put pockets in, so I think I will go back and do that. But thanks for sewing with me today. If you enjoyed yourself, please click all the links, hit all the buttons, do all the things, and I will see you next time. Au revoir, Pee Wee!